boss and that bony, red-headed hominid you're in love with. I understand that. I also understand that you bought a brand new car to impress her. You're flailing, William. Now, I'm secretly hoping it's a midlife crisis, which means you're halfway to an early death, affording me a blissful, demented convalescence spent peeing on your grave. <laughs> What's your point, Sue? Don't let your own recklessness blind you to the fact that Britney Spears is a genius pop culture provocateur and a gateway drug to every out-of-control impulse ever created. This school is a powder keg of sexual deviance, William. And in my office, I have a chair with a naked butt sweat stain to prove it. I'm not kidding. It's like an inkblot test, that butt sweat stain. Stare into it, William. And you will see the light of all that is good go out of the world. Wait just a second now. You look more confused than ever. Is your glee club doing Britney Spears music? Is that why Rachel was wearing that inappropriate outfit? No. No. We are not doing Britney. Okay. Just checking. Once upon a time, a bunch of guys got together with a crazy idea. Go farther, faster, than mankind ever had before. They dreamt with their hands, and the world watched and waited. The time has marched on, and priorities have changed. It's nice to know, America still builds rockets. The 2011 Corvette. Is he done? He's done. Are you done, Cullen? Come on, Cullen. Are you done? Marshall's never paid full price for fabulous. 